Hello and welcome hand washers. Today we'll be talking about one of society's most important technological innovations. Of course, we are not talking about iPhones or Hydro Flasks. Rather, we are talking about soap. As a restaurant worker by day and a and a student or as a restaurant worker by night and a student athlete by day, I come in contact with soap more than the average person does. This leads to me having more of an appreciation for soap and having a better grasp on what seemingly seems like a slippery subject. When explaining this undeniably soap substantial subject, we will first ta talk about its pungent purpose for the body, then we will describe its then we will dive deeper into the lie and describe its historical significance, and then we will and and then we will uh, scrub at um, soap's social impact in our everyday interactions. It seems as though ever since the pandemic, it seems as though ever since the pandemic, masks have taken the ever dim spotlight away from our lathery friend. When in fact, when in fact, uh, most diseases are often transported to the doorstep of our body through extremely accessible means of transportation: our hands. Hands provide a wide array of services. For example, writing speeches. We touch countless grimy surfaces, textbooks, phones, and bite our fingernails, touch our faces without even a second thought. No wonder why sickness is rampant. Everybody practically delivers soap to the doorstep of our body. This dirty dilemma was solved in 2800 BC according to the Farmer's Almanac with the Sudsea solution, a mix of boiling ash and oil. What this does is that it pairs water with oil and you can wash it off with water. Of course, your science class taught you that water and oil do not mix. Well, according to Hackensack Meridian Health, soap acts as a medium between water and oil and allows you to wash it off with water along with the bacteria on your skin. Now, soap is of course important for its purpose, but it's also important because of how easy and accessible it is to do. The simple steps are turn on the faucet, grab the soap, and scrub. Now these seemingly simple steps are not as effortlessly carried out by others. It seems as though, according to waterday.org and CDC's Show Me the Science, Why Wash Your Hands, only 19% of people wash their hands after using the restroom. Not necessarily a sudsy statistic. Surprisingly, there was a time when smelling like a lavender explosion and washing your hands was even less typical than 19%. This was also known as the Middle Ages. Now, going back, as referred in the last paragraph, um, soap was discovered in 2800 BC. It's undergone many innovations that make it into the product that it is today. Of course, these innovations have not gone without some bumps in the road. Now, in the Middle Ages, hygiene was almost completely non-existent. This led to the emergence of many plagues, one of the most notorious ones being the Black Plague, that killed great, great, a great amount of people during that period of time. According to Disease in the Middle Ages, this was a perfect environment for diseases to thrive in. According to Disease in the Middle Ages, uh, between the years of 1348 and 1350, the Black Death killed over half of England's population. This, of course, is often, sh often shakes us when we learn about it in history class, but the lesson it gave was priceless. Disease thrives in dirty environments. Now, most, most of the animosity towards soap was cleansed throughout Europe, and, and that did not go without some corruption. England, according to the Farmer's Almanac, almost tripled the cost of soap for over 150 years when they taxed it so very often. This created an already obvious divide between the wealthy and the poor, all the more noticeable. So a satisfying scent emerged from the soapy waters as a status symbol. This is further proved through a study conducted by Elijah Kreutzmann's where male contestants were rated on their physical appearance, rated on their physical appearance and uh, perceived self-esteem solely based on the variable of whether or not they were wearing a fragrance. This, as a result of the study, uh, the, ones, the male contestants who were wearing a fragrance had a higher percentage of receiving a higher rating 
in their attractiveness and perceived self-esteem by others. This can be further applied in whether you're walking down the halls of Abraham Lincoln High School or rather sitting at home and when you smell a questionable scent, you may, you may react in a not so conspicuous manner. Of course, this definitely affects people of lower socioeconomic levels who cannot afford luxuries that are soap. Soap is, soap is not only a luxury, but a privilege to be able to use. It provides the necessary antibacterial needs for a growing population, has a bubbly background, has a bubbly background, and also makes you seem that you are, per, you are perceived as having a higher self-confidence and evidently more attractive. Who knew that you could get such a product at a store near you? So please, whenever you wash your hands, please don't look past its plate beside a sink, but rather appreciate it for the purpose that it serves in our society. Thank you for joining me this Thursday. And just to leave you on a final note, washing your hands is not, not just for employees.